Welcome to Art Club, and today we're gonna to be making a super cute owl painting. Um, if you registered for this class, you will have already picked up your kit from the Mnemonics Library, and if you're watching this video and you think this is something that you wanna create, you can follow along with your own supplies. So let's get started by talking about what we have in our bags. We have three different colors of paint, red, yellow, and brown. Everybody has a couple of pieces of white cardstock, and you also have some orange cardstock. Some of the things that you'll need from home are uh, some Elmer's glue and a pair of scissors. So maybe this is gonna get a little messy. So why don't you lay your paper bag out on your work surface and you can use that um, just in case. And let's talk about what we're gonna do. This owl painting is created um, with the paint in the bottles and we're only going to paint on one half of the paper, the paper. And then we're going to fold it over in half and we're going to smooth it together and make something called a symmetrical painting. So when you look at this painting, you will see that both sides look pretty closely identical, correct? So uh, symmetry is when you take an object and you fold it in half. So this started out as a large um, piece of cardstock and we fold it in half and we put a large crease in there and look what happens. This is right down the center and both sides look exactly the same. Before we actually put our paint on, I want to show you some of the ones that I created when I was practicing. So this one doesn't even look like an owl. I put way too much paint on there and I didn't use a paint uh, bottle with a fine little tip on there. So I just kind of put my paint on there with the paint bottle that um, it comes in and too much paint came out. To me, this kind of looks like a pair of lungs, doesn't it? And then I tried this one and you can see I didn't put enough paint on one side over here. So He's not really connected, and I tried to cover that up with his beak. And then this one, actually, without this, it kind of looked like a bear, and it didn't have enough over to the middle section either, so it doesn't really look like an owl, and it has these cute little bear ears. So we're aiming for something that looks like this. All right, so go ahead and get your paper out and put it in front of you. And we are going to fold our paper in half. And that is how we're going to get symmetry. That is how our papers, each side is gonna look a mirror image of the other. So get a nice crease here and open it up and now you have two halves. All right, so we have our paper. It's ready to go. It's folded in half, but I just want to say I think we need to make our um, paint in an oval shape, okay? So not quite a full-on circle, more like an oval. And be sure to remember that we're only going to put our paint on one side. Normally when I'm talking about art, I encourage you to do it in your own style and make it your own you know piece of art but today I am going to say we definitely need to make sure we need to do ovals and um, that's what's gonna work best when we fold our paper in half all right so now you can go ahead and open up your paint bottles the tops just twist off and remember we're only gonna put paint on one side. I'm gonna put it on this side, but if you wanna put it on that side, that's fine. Whichever works best for you. And we're going to just get our paint down to the tip. Oops, and see right away, I put on too much paint. I was impatient. 
and I squirted it too much. So I'm just gonna kind of make like an oval because if you do a circle, it's not gonna really look like an owl. And then I'm gonna take my next color. I'm gonna try not to be so impatient and I'm gonna just squeeze it gently. And I'm running the tip of this on the paper. So you have a little bit more control when you're actually touching the paper. So give that a try. And I included extra paper in your packet. So if you don't get it the way you want it on the first shot, you can try it a couple of times until you get one that you like. All right, so I just alternated colors. Um, it's okay if they touch each other because once we uh, close the paper together, it's going to smear and it's going to blend anyway. And I wanna make sure, I'm gonna go around one more time. Oh, I might be running out of paint on this. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna take the brown and I'm gonna go around. See how I'm not very close to the center? I wanna make sure that it gets close enough so we don't have a gap like in this one. All right. So, whoops, I got an awful lot of paint on there again. So see how I did that? Let's, let's see what happens and how this turns out. So we're gonna gently fold this back in half and just kind of smooth it around. If you put a lot of paint on, sometimes when you're smoothing, it's gonna come oozing out the side and that's why we put this on our paper. All right. Let's see what happened. Whoa. So it looks pretty good. You can see there is some white spots on there. I thought I was gonna have enough on there to do the center and I did not. So now you have the option of taking another piece of your paper and creating a new one, or maybe you could even try to add a little paint and see what happens. So when you add the paint, just add it on one side and I'm gonna put it where these little white spots are and just see how well it goes. I'm gonna add a little bit right here so this connects. All right, let's give it a try. There we go. Actually, I like that. Let's go ahead and make another one because I'm sure some of you are gonna have a few questions. So go ahead and get another piece of paper. We will fold it in half before we get started. There we go. Two sides look identical. And then we will take our paint and we will make our ovals. This time maybe I'll start on the outside and work my way in. Oh, oh my goodness. I might have to add more paint. I added a little bit more paint into my yellow bottle. So I'm going to add it on my paper. I'm squirting a little bit more on there compared to the first one, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like when you use a little bit more paint and what it looks like when you use less paint. What do you think? I think that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold it over and then I'm going to start smearing it on, giving it a little rub. As you can see, since I did add more paint on this one, some did squeeze out the side. 
So I'm just gonna move it over a little bit so I don't get the back side in it. And whoa, see what happened? Actually, doesn't this look like a butterfly? Here's his head and here's the back. Maybe a colorful moth. So go ahead, use your extra paper, create two or three different versions and figure out which one you wanna add your um, beak and your eyes and your ears to make your super cute owl. All right, so there is our owl. Now you're going to get out your scissors and your orange cardstock and we are going to make some triangles. You can draw it on here if you like, or you can just cut it. I've got a triangle. If you want them to look identical, you can put it on your paper and just follow along. And that's going to be for his cute little ears. We can add a little bit of glue on there. And now we need a beak. So that triangle is gonna be a little bit larger than those, especially cause mine, mine is so big. Yours might not be as large as mine and that's okay. That looks like it'll look good. So I'll add a little glue. There we go. And now we need our cute little googly eyes. We will put those on there with some glue. I'm gonna put them closer to the center of the paper, but not in the center of the ovals. Well, that turned out pretty darn cute. Thanks for joining me today at Art Club. I hope you had a great time. I hope your owl turned out super cute and I would love to see what it looks like. You can post it on our Art Club Facebook post or you can email it to us at youthservices at newlenoxlibrary.org. Have a great day.